Oh, oh darn. I just paid off my car today. This sucks. Somebody protect my baby! Why would you make glass floor? I don't care how it looks how cool it looks, it's just stupid. Is this Superman's planet? Is this Krypton? What? Is that your Superman? Is that the premise of the game? Wee! Yeah, you guys did a terrible job of protecting those people. Terrible, awful, the awful job. For days. The, fires burn for weeks. And the people moaned about it for a good amount of time. Less than 10,000 of your kind still lived, and far fewer of ours. But we carried on, together, to rebuild, to renew. Listen, you must go there, to the place where we labored, labored and lost. Take my words, pass them from your head into your hands. That is how you will open the way. But be warned, much still remains in flux, and I do not know how things will end. Either in my time or yours. Where the hell is this place? I just wake up. <laughs> Wait, vitals are stabilizing. Something's happening. He's he's moving. Why do I look different, Desmond? Can you hear me, son? Daddy. know what we need to do. See, while you were all slack and I was in a coma. Don't tell me that's where the game just ends. That is such a dick tease. Wow. Wow. Dick tease. This game was a dick tease. Oh, God. Oh. oh. Man, if I knew I was two hours away from the end, I would have just, uh. Um. Not went to sleep last night. <laughs> That's poop balls. That's what that is. That is straight poop balls. And I... The game was good. It just... I like how Ezio talked to Desmond. I'm still curious about that argument between Altier and uh, Maria, but eh, whatever. I hate it when video games do that little thing where you like... There's dialogue playing in the background, and you have to walk around to hear it. Because, I mean, then I don't know to keep walking, because there's, like, the pauses in between the, the dialogue. And I don't know if I keep walking and do the mission to continue it, or I just stand still. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I don't care. So... Like, I don't understand what all these, like, aliens have to do with anything, though. I just... I don't get it. It's kind of getting like lost now. Only <clears throat> an episode is like 10 hours long. And it costs $60 to watch. And they take a year to make them. At least. 
It def this game definitely wasn't good as is not as good as Brotherhood, but it was still good. I still liked it. Why would you reconstruct the island? And the whole <clears throat> things in between. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, like I like I said, I thought there were gonna be like levels with Desmond, where you could learn more about Desmond. And I know there are, but you gotta get DNA fragments for him. But I thought like it was just gonna be levels you could play in between every once in a while. And it's like no one even cared about what's her Lucy or whatever. That just, that annoyed me. She's so important in the first two games, and then, about the first two games, then Brotherhood. And then she's just nothing. Just, ugh. I thought there's gonna be more with Altier. I was happy with what you got with Altier, but I thought there's gonna be more. I see. I knew this was gonna happen because Assassin's Creed came out, and I liked it. I thought it was all right. Uh, the The missions got tedious. The in between missions got tedious, but I liked it. And then Assassin's Creed Two came out, and it was awesome. It was just amazing and near perfect. And then Assassin's Creed Two Brotherhood. Or Assassin's Creed Brotherhood was coming out, and I was like, oh, well, you know, my expectations may be a little high, but it met those expectations, and then some, and it was like a perfect game. And this, my expectations got even higher beyond a perfect game. So there was no way they were living up to those expectations. I'm just saying. Just Sam. Just Sam. And Leonardo da Vinci wasn't in it. Which doesn't, this is no big thing. I just, I like Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> it wasn't a bad game at all. I just felt like there was no. Like. How do I describe this? Like, there was no middle to the plot to keep it more interesting like there was no big things happening it was like go find the five keys and then you went and found the five keys and there was no like twist or turns or anything there was no betrayal or this or that there was no story arcs I guess that's what I'm trying to say maybe I'm just wrong and stupid but you know like in Assassin's Creed 2 you had to build up everything before you could do anything, like you had to build up uh, the assassins. And then Assassin's Creed 2. Oh, I keep saying Assassin's Creed 2. It's Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. You know, it starts out and you get attacked and bombed and all that shit. And you have to, like, save this person. And, like, save the chick who gets. It was Susan in it. And, like, um, set up whorehouses to, you know, get information. It was like you had to do a lot more shit. To, uh. There's a, there was more prep work. Which is, I guess I'm trying to say. Which, it, I'm not saying I wish like, there was a lot more, like, fetch missions, but just, like, a, a story arc or two, you know? Just literally cycle and repeat. It was like, get book. Get book to girl. Flirt with girl. Go find key. Get book. Go get book to girl. Find key. Altair mission. They're just like, repeat, repeat, repeat. <laughs> kind of like the first one, which is a weird way to bring it home. These credits are long as shit. See that's the thing. That's I. 
That's what you get when you, uh, uh, I, I don't want to say, like, I don't know, I don't know shit about making games, but I'm, I want to say that's what you get when you have so many different, like, I thought this was going to happen because they have, like, Ubisoft Montreal and Ubisoft this and Ubisoft that and all these different Ubisofts, like, coming together on this one game. So, I mean, maybe they were just, like, communication errors. No, nah, that's me just guessing now. But again, it wasn't a bad game. It's still a good game. It just wasn't was as good as I thought it was going to be. The multiplayer is fun, though. Multiplayer plays well, just like the um, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood multiplayer. But I hear there's improvements. So, I haven't played it a lot, but I hear there's improvements. So, basically, just better. Oh, God. <sighs> Yeah, uh, and then the whole thing, like uh, with Sean saying like, "Oh, is Desmond really worth it?" Uh, I know he's a dick, but really, really, guy, really. Like when he said, "Is Desmond really worth it?" During the uh, one in between thingy, I'd say he was like, "Yeah, just let him die." Been through two games with the guy, and you just go, you just want to let him die. And all in all, Revelations was definitely not bad, but I'd give it I'd give it like a seven or eight out of ten. But just my expectations were high. I couldn't help but get my expectations like high. I don't like how they made that tail look different. Like I know that I think they used the face map technology that was in LA Noir. Noir. But uh I don't like how Desmond and Altier and Etsy all look different. Altier, you didn't really see his face though, so I don't really care. And on the uh, and little note in the game series as a whole I don't like. Altier only got one game, Etsy got fucking three. I just think that's, I don't want to say stupid, I just, that's, that's annoying to me. Because Ezio is a cool character. I like him better than I like Altier, but, I mean, I feel like a lot of Altier's story was untold. When Ezio, we got like 16 versions of them. Quiet laptop. Yeah, oh God, really. Stupid controller. Also, I don't know how old old here. Uh, yeah, Etsy was supposed to be. It seems to be like f late fifties or like mid fifties. They probably said that at some point. I just wasn't paying attention. I, mean, I thought he was supposed to be like thirty in Brotherhood. Dude, come on! Credits, stop. I don't know, just that whole animus having like a island thingy. I didn't really get that. And subject sixteen, I thought it was gonna be like cooler and be more mis like have more information. He was just kind of useless. And he also looked like a tool.
I mean, I, I, I don't really have anything else to say on this game. Now it just that's my opinion on it. If you like Assassin's Creed, go get it. Obviously, it's good. You will enjoy it. Now, if you don't like Assassin's Creed, I don't want to know you. <laughs> you should, uh, you should go uh, get them and play them. So you can probably get the first one for dirt cheap, and you probably won't enjoy it. But you should play the first one to just really appreciate the second one. Also, the story. Obviously, there's a story behind the first one that you need for the second one. Altair was a badass, that apple, though. Oh, his piece of Eden. Which is just left there. Forever. Why would they not think to check that shit? <clears throat> like where the, uh... Where... M m <coughs> oh, damn it. M where the Altier's headquarters were. Where he left the artifact. Did they think to check there for an artifact? Like the first big assassin's headquarter. And if not, why are you so stupid, assassins and templars? Not gonna assassins aren't like badass ninjas anymore. They're all nerds. <laughs> like Sean and that other chick, nerds. Like with their machines, they look back into the past, nerds. Ezra didn't know, need no machine to look into the past. He just stabbed everything. And I didn't like the hook blade too much either. Like, I thought it was alright. I I prefer um, two blades. I know it worked just as two blades, but still, it was cooler to have two blades. Even even though it still it was exactly the same. That doesn't change my opinion or rating of the game at all. <laughs> just a little, little side note. And the bombs. I didn't even, like, eh. I didn't even care for them. Like, I'm sure they were cool to use, but I never really got... I never really cared to use them. Look, see, that's, that, that's what I'm saying. It's like, they, they gave you bombs, but then there's no big situation where you had to use them. I mean, not literally. There were, like, when you first got them. But, I mean, those are just like, oh, you know what? Bombs will come in handy here. Or just like, meh. I'll sneak around and stab. Or I'll just run out and kill. And also, the free flow combat, it, it's not as free flow. Which is a big thing with me. Because I fucking love free flow combat. Like, in Assassin's in Brotherhood, it was just smooth as shit. And this is kind of... It was smooth, but it's not as smooth. Like, if I was killing somebody and someone else to hit, wanted to hit me, and wouldn't let me counter. That's lame. That's why I like Batman so much. Fucking... That's why I was... That's When I got the Nightwing pack, <laughs> I was just pretty flowing like a motherfucker. Because I love it. Oh, thank God the credits are over. I hate credits. Oh, I'll just put you back here. Doesn't even explain why he would be back in the island. What happens if I go in here? Wait. Is that a pile of ash? Yeah, look at those hidden blades. Huh. <laughs> Got a sword? What was that? What is he doing? That's not, if I hit the left pad, he just does that. Why were you doing that? <laughs> you weirdo.
That's it. Now, I like the uh, menu screen on the other one. It was cooler. I, I don't like the whole black thing. It scares me. Outfits? Old Altair. Locked. Alright. Well, there you go. That's the LP. Um, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Uh, out of curiosity, I'll just see how uh, far, how much percentage we got. It's probably just like 50. Uh, 54. Okay, that's it. Uh, I love you all. In a totally physical way, because I, uh, apparently I'm, I'm uh, three different people, Altier, Ezio, and Desmond, and uh, I don't know how that would work exactly. <laughs> uh, you all stay stoned. Oh, and I'll see, I'll see you now. What's next? Uh, Zelda. Zelda comes out tomorrow. I said that. Zelda. Excited for Zelda. Zelda kicks ass.